so quiet, so peaceful. No one is breathing behind my back. This is my natural habitat. You want to hear the tone of the machines running, going up and down. It's like a symphony. I call the pinheads my babies. I talk to them so they can work the proper way. I keep them alive with the maintenance. Okay, so far so good. My name is Joe Martinez. I'm a pinstead mechanic for the gutter bar. I was raised and born in Brooklyn. This is what I've been doing for 25 years. I've been working on pinsetters. My difference that I have with other mechanics is my passion for it. I mean, I love what I do with the machines. I love coming in and working on the pinsetters. Machines are old. I think it's between the 40s and the 50s, I think they were built. I mean, very impressed with these machines. Whoever invented these machines were, I don't know, magnificent back right there. We don't have like uh, updated uh, stuff. It's old fashioned stuff that they're keeping here. So I'm working day in, day out with them. So I just want to make sure that when I ask them to work, to work properly, <laughs> to go up and down. I call the pinheads my babies. It's like a human being. Like they have a broken ankle or something like that. We can fix them. Yeah, and that could be the doctor, yes, fix it. Trying to cure them. Like I said before, those are my babies. I want them to look clean. Clean and to me, like they're having a shower, nice and clean. It's so funny because sometimes my wife gets to my kids when I, I dirty the shower. It's no big deal. I see my hands dirty all the time. People don't see the mechanics. It's like in another war. They don't see what goes. They don't see how it looks in the back. Uh, Pinsters take a beating. From the time we open to the time we close, the pincers are continuous, running for hours and hours. The only time they relax is when we close. That's when I consider what is sleeping. I keep them alive, like I'm saying, we're keeping them with the maintenance. That's what I do with the maintenance and the pin setters. I got a fixed lane seven. They have an issue with the two, uh, the two pins force into the seven pin bucket. Maybe the turbo has a malfunction that is sending two pins to the seven pin bucket, or the pin bucket is not, or the deck is not dropping down the pin and bring it back up. So it could be, uh, one of the issues could be in there. These machines, once you keep the maintenance on, on top of it, I mean, they last forever. All right, I think I'm getting ready for, for lane seven. Safety first. Safety is number one. You can get hurt or you can get killed. See my middle finger? I was cleaning up the cross conveyor belt on the machine. I was wearing gloves and uh, my gloves got stuck and with the pulley and just swung my pulley and just chop on top on the finger right away. One, one cut. One straight cut, one straight cut. I have a mechanic that, who got hurt, he crushed his arm. It was a mechanic who got killed in Texas, I think it was, he, he got killed. Somebody turned the machine on him, he was inside, the machine come up and just crushed him. So like, it's hard, yeah. I just got cut, I didn't even know. <laughs> I guess I was closing my knife and just got me a little bit in there. But no biggie, everyday thing. It's getting jammed up. Frustrations is, they come on. Yes, they are there. Coming back out. This is the thing, in and out. Oh. These days that I get so frustrated, yes. These days that I can get the job done because my frustration takes over me. I'm missing one piece. Whoever invented these machines, there was like a tiny short guy doing it. Sometimes it gets so hard. 
This is not meant to heavy people. Nowadays, a new generation, they just want to get things done. They want to get their hands dirty. They don't, they want to sit on the computer. I mean, most people are, are legit for that, but not me. I'll be honest with you, I can fix whatever you, it needs to be done. I don't mind. Electrical, plumbing, toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Six. My goal is just once I, I get replaced or leave, or someone will willing to do the job or capable to do the job. With the new generation, I'm not 100% either willing to do it. The work that we do is uh, it's not easy. I am the only mechanic working in this place. I mean, I've been working right now running two places for, for myself, so if anyone out there likes the job, they can be 100% successful what they're doing and loving it. Because if I, I didn't like my job, I think I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have a job. Or I'll be doing something different. I like it. I like what I see, I like what I discover the issue. Uh, when the bullets is coming in, I see the, the smiling and they're throwing strikes and the minister is going up and down. It's a good, it's, it's a good feeling because I think my job is doing, I'm doing the, the right thing for the bowlers, and they're having fun. I mean, my main goal is to have the customers be happy. These machines will not go nowhere. They will be here until the end. Until they shut down this place, we'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>